So, oh, okay. This one from Butler earlier. Butler donated Butler. $99. Panel answer one by one. Would you date slash sleep with someone who has an incurable STD? Uh, yes, and I have slept with people who have herpes. And I don't have herpes. Huh? Mm. Hmm? Yep. What? You, you knowingly slept? And kissed. But not knowingly? while they have active warts. Still? Of course. It just seems like a lot of you are very uneducated on how you actually contract herpes. I think you're a little un uneducated <laughs> on how you contract herpes. No, because you... Let us know, Jay Butler. No, <laughs> seriously, like... Most of the people in the adult industry have herpes. I've never gotten herpes because... Not yet. Not yet. Or you're it's asymptomatic. Def it's definitely a potential, but no, like, I don't have uh, it. Um, when you have herpes, you have a responsibility to let the other person know when you're having an outbreak. And if you don't, then you're going to get sued. But you can be, like, pre-symptomatic. Like, you know what I mean? Pre-symptomatic? Well, okay, so. You can be asymptomatic. You, you right. could be asymptomatic, but the other thing is, like, from the research I've done, like, you know, when you have an acne breakout, it starts off really small. Yes. And then it gets a little bigger, 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 and reach, reach a, it reaches a, uh, what's the, I don't know what the fucking word is, uh, a terminal velocity of the fucking acne, I don't know what the fuck. And then it, and then it goes away. And then it goes, and then it goes away. Um, if this is like a breakout, a whitehead or something, I assume similarly for herpes, there's probably a period where it's like... Oh. Bender the Offender donated $69. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Don't forget to check how many simps sub oh, to right. Harris since the show started. We have to do that. Watch it be zero. We have to do that. Nick, really quick, uh, pull up the Twitch. Pull up the Twitch. Um, we have to check check that. Um, <laughs> yo, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow in the Prime sub. Yep. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, so, yeah, you could, like at the very beginning of a breakout, before you're even kind of aware of it, like it's just like almost on the microscopic level, you could, that's one way you could do it. I mean, you yeah. pass it on. It, it definitely like the potential of contracting STDs. I thought about it long and hard before I got in the industry, but it's something that I'm willing to deal with. Sure. So, well, yeah. let's, let's have all the other girls answer this. Would you date or sleep with someone who has an incurable STD? Not casually sleep with, but if it was like the love of my life, yeah, I don't really, really? care. I mean, herpes um, can only be spread through open sores. Um, right. But like, if so, you're saying if there was a way to prevent me contracting it, and okay, anyway, it, let, let's say there's a way to prevent me from <laughs> contracting not. it, and it was somebody who I really, 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 really liked, like marriage yeah. husband. Yeah, like if I want to marry this person, yeah, I'll get over it. Uh, especially really? if it's not something that there's kills a lot of you. What, what There's is, a lot of fish in the sea, though. I understand like, that, why? but it doesn't matter. I'm like, if I really, really like someone, it, it's also like you're talking okay, about right. HPV and HSV. Like, they're not gonna kill you. It's gonna be unpleasant for a week I mean, out of the year. I mean, if, if it killed you, if it was like, if someone gave me AIDS, I'd be upset. I would not marry that person. <laughs> that being bare said, minimum, you'd if be it upset. Was, <laughs> if it was herpes, but I'm like, not gonna here's, off I, myself. I guess, kind of my shock to that is. Like you're you're an attractive girl. Mm -hmm. I feel like you have probably quite a significant amount of optionality when it yeah. comes to men. So given your optionality, you can probably find a guy. Let's say you have two guys, right, of mm -hmm. equivalent attractiveness. I'm sure it's not hard to find that. One has herpes, the other doesn't. Like, there's a lot of fish out there. Like, why pick the one that's got herpes? Because if I like so you said, I, I do think have. A, he sorry. also has to meet like a bunch of these other criteria. Mm -hmm. So. I think uh, it makes sense. Like, if this one guy didn't have this incurable disease, mm -hmm. but he's probably going to lack a bunch of these other qualities that you want. Like, someone's most guys out there are not going to be willing to wait a year to have sex. Yeah. If so, it, exactly. so, if the person that, like, you love them and, like, they're all these amazing attributes, like, they're, I, I they've waited for an extremely long time, mm -hmm. like, the likelihood of you finding someone like that mm -hmm. is. Like, you're going to be able to find somebody... Like, you will be able to find somebody who is attractive and who doesn't have this incurable disease. But they have to be attractive, don't have this incur incurable disease, and meet, like, 
a million other values. Exactly. So if I meet somebody, that's not like a sleeping with. No, definitely not. If I'm just hooking up with somebody with an STD of any kind, whether it's incurable, curable, whatever, absolutely not happening. But even if you think this, per if this person has all the qualities mm -hmm. in the world that you, you're like, I want to marry this person. Mm -hmm. At least for me, I don't care how fucking amazing the girl mm -hmm. is. She could be super hot. She could be the most physically attractive woman in the world. She could be, if she, for me, if she has herpes, that's a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. It's done. Which is fair. You're allowed to have that opinion. But, but you're, for, that's, what, that's what shocks me because yeah. like you're an attractive girl. Well, you because have a, you're I'm right. Sure you you're have right. I do options. have an ungodly amount of You don't of need to settle for a dude with but herpes. That's not, I don't, I don't think it's settling in my eyes. I've obviously, I've been, I mean, I'm only 19 years old, but I've looked the same Am since I, I was like, let's say 13. No, I, understand I think what in you're this saying. aspect, it makes a lot like, of sense. in that aspect, yeah, you would be settling in just like in the, the sexual disease aspect. Yeah. You would be settling. Yeah. But it, like but all the other like, ones. I, if uh, in the 19 years I've been alive, there have been, I can uh, I can't. Ha I don't have a number for the amount of men who have pursued me or that I've pursued, vice versa. And in that time I've been alive, there's been one singular man that I actually wanted to be in a committed relationship with. So that's a very small, like statistically, there's a very, 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 very small pool of men that I would date. Like right now off the top of my head, I can't name anybody but my boyfriend that I would let me ask willingly you, Let date. me ask you a question. What's like the silliest reason you've ever rejected a guy? Like something arbitrary. Like silly. Like his traps weren't developed enough. Something like that. <laughs> I mean, it's it's never been like something like a reason. His it's always like there's just something that's weird. not there. Does that make sense? Like but I just like, don't feel a certain way about them. To me, having herpes is kind of a big fucking deal. <laughs> I don't like. Yeah, well, I, get, women I, get, have I get, left, get why it would be a big men deal. For other for less reason. Like yeah. I'm sure yeah. you've rejected sure. men for lesser for reason, reason. reason than <laughs> fucking herpes. So no, that's where I'm I, like, I can't <laughs> think of I can see like just solely have, based off that. Yeah. You have definitely turned down men for lesser reasons <laughs> than herpes. Okay, do you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm like, trying to get at here. If you're an <laughs> asshole, like yeah, I'm gonna be like, okay, bye. I think I. But I'm not gonna screw an asshole with herpes. So why, why I don't like those aren't comparable to me. That doesn't have anything to do with your character or the way that you look. If I'm, I'm almost wondering, would I rather, would I rather marry a woman who's like, kind of fucking annoying, but she doesn't have herpes, versus an annoying chick? You mean a not, not annoying chick? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. A not <laughs> annoying chick. Wait, hold on. An, yeah, an annoying right. chick who doesn't have herpes. Not annoying. Not annoying. Sorry, that's late. Like, are you kidding? That makes no sense to me. Like, <laughs> if I had to choose between. Center of Disease Control Fuck, donated $69. <laughs> we received word that the women opposite of Brian has contaminated the seat and we will be stopping by to disinfect and burn the chair. Listen, there are control. people that would pay for this seat just because I sat on it. Actually, so. we are going to eBay her seat. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to auction it off afterwards. So, uh, CDC, if you're interested. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, really, cool. we'll go. Uh, the <laughs> would you date no. a guy with an incurable? No, I kind of agree with Carly. Ariel. If they're perfect Ariel. in every oh. other <laughs> aspect, it's also not AIDS. It's herpes. Like you're not dying from it. It's an itchy. Like okay, that's annoying for a week out of the year, I and mean, then you never I've have heard an outbreak some again. Stories from people with ain't. Okay, if, you, if you're the 1% of people who has the worst type of herpes that just really fucks you up, okay, <laughs> maybe. But chances are you get an outbreak. This is how I've, I've researched herpes deeply, I promise you. There's... Yeah, say, I'm, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. What's... I was scared once. I got scared once, but I was fine. You got scared once? From kissing a guy. Oh, okay. I was oh, scared. Okay. Anyway, but I was fine. Anyway. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Just because we're, we're on limited time here. Yeah, go, 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 go. It's cool. No, you, go, go, go. Guys, I think there's a dating app for dudes with herpes. Maybe you should download <laughs> it. <laughs> um, what's it called? Does anybody... There's like a dating app for, for people I've with herpes. Heard of we're going to get you on app. that. Her maybe you can do oh like God. a... Uh, <laughs> you, should, you should get a sponsorship from them. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> you too can get a muscle mommy with... Uh, oh my God. <laughs> I, yeah. Who's okay with you having herpes? Yeah, see, guys, the stigma is gone. Okay, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> Brian's gonna quit his job. Brian's done. 
He finds no more fulfillment in his work. <laughs> we'll continue going around the table. Wait, I want to hear your actual answer, though. You said, um, yeah. I have been intimate with someone with herpes, so I feel like it'd be pretty hypocritical to say that I wouldn't. So you know. Okay. Yeah. No, I couldn't get past that. I think I know both of your answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think everyone knows. It. Yes, I would. I think I know both of your answers. You would? Yeah, I, yeah, I would. You would? I would not. Yeah. Okay, if it was the love of your life. Though. If it was the love of my life, if she had like literally at like, she's Reformed Baptist Christian muscle mommy, like, <laughs> like I actually get all of what that. Your response yeah, one hundred percent. My life, like just yeah. Yeah. I would not herpes, care. I I wouldn't mind at all. It's either. also like not like it, they're not giving you cancer. Yeah. Like it's yeah. herpes. Yeah, like, I, I get that. Survive. Okay, yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. if it's like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's if you get guys do it together, yeah. like it's if you get yeah. one, and how <laughs> no, like it if, bonds if, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and like 90 percent of the time you get one herpes outbreak <laughs> ever, and then never again. So that doesn't sound like the end of the world to me, like truly. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 and there's I, medication. Yeah, that yeah as long I, as you like, take it every day, you're fine. It's cool. And I don't yeah. even know what HPV is. Just like warts, right? Like. I have oh, no that, idea. That would suck a little I'm more. Not, I'm not it's super different. Different. That being said, different I think that they come stuff. and go. I think that HPV, women, is, HPV is a lot the more same intense for women. I oh, believe. okay. Because like mind. it can cause. I think I could be wrong. It could cause like infertility. It could cause. Okay, so that one we that's do want to know. That's a little worse. Little worse. Yeah. And that's all. Yeah. Then in that case, they are yeah. literally giving you cancer, which would not be my favorite. Yeah, and that's but we love that. But yeah, you I can think, still appreciate I, that person from a distance. But generally, the person that I'm going to find attractive not is gonna not going to have, have herpes. Because they're not going to have same. slept around, yeah, generally exactly. speaking. Like, yeah, yeah. Right. This is I an agree. extreme hypothetical situation. Mm-hmm. Where they, like, maybe accidentally brush lips with their mom once and their mom had herpes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, <laughs> <you> accidentally <laughs> brush. I hate when that happens. <laughs> God, it's the worst. God, another your mom <laughs> accidentally <laughs> puts you in her face. Can you Oh God. You can't be born with it too, though. If yeah, a parent yeah. has herpes, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I f- okay, I feel like you guys are using this scenario where it's like, whoa, this guy is the perfect guy. Yep. But I feel if there's a guy who, if is some just mediocre kind of like, dude, yeah, I mean, no. he's just okay. I'm probably not. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Place it's like a mediocre herpes. partner. Yeah, it's it's yeah, kind no. of like a girl who's like, well, I wouldn't date a short guy unless he's a billionaire. It's like. How much does oh, he how have much to, is it like right. how much no, is it weighted? It's, yeah. Well, it's how much does he have to make up for this deficit mm-hmm. by yeah. being sure. exceptional in some other sort of way?